everybody. Okay, today I am going to make a simple crock pot meal for you called lemon drummies. I'm using leg quarters this time, but normally it's drumsticks. So I really hope you enjoy. Uh, I'm gonna get everything together and then we'll come back and film. Okay, so I got everything together. I don't have exact measurements. Um, this is a cookbook recipe. Hey, but Mom. this has, hello Astrid, this has salt, pepper, parsley, onion powder, rosemary ground up, paprika. I did some smoked paprika because I was um, out of regular and a little bit of chicken broth powder. I have minced garlic. I have my veggie blend. There's two cups of red bell peppers, two cups of celery, two cups of onions. I have eight onions cut up, or not onions, cheese, lemons cut up. And then I have a whole bunch of leg quarters here. I'm not necessarily going by weight here. I'm going more by volume. So I'm just gonna start. This is this is super simple. These are like my favorite when they're in bags like this because I can literally just grab a bag out of the freezer, pop it in the fridge overnight to thaw, and the next day, actually it won't thaw very much overnight, so maybe two days, but if all you have is a day, then, then that's what you do. The next day, you pop it into your slow cooker and there you go. So right now I'm just putting the leg quarters into my Ziploc. That one was four leg quarters, which gosh, I'd say it's probably probably just about um, three pounds. These are huge leg quarters. Hey Astrid, I really would like to film. I know you're absolutely adorable and everybody would love to see you, but I'm trying to, to show them how to make this chicken, okay? Um, this recipe came from my friend Jennifer. We used to do this cooking club. I mean, look at this thing. This is crazy. Like, they didn't, I don't know if you can see this, but they didn't even bother, like, splitting. splitting it. They didn't bother splitting this chicken. Like, both legs in the back are on this one. So, wow. I think I understand why they were so cheap per pound. It's fine with me. The only thing I'm going to do that we really don't want to have in here is we're going to cut off the fat that's on the inside of this one and we're going to kick off the tail because I don't want to have to try and fish that out later but other than that it's fine my goodness we butcher our own chickens it's not like we're strangers to what happens in chicken processing so I'm pretty much just spreading these out as evenly as I can these are going to go into the slow cooker here's another one here's another one that's like that just gonna cut the tail off. And later what we'll do once it's cooked is we'll like pick the meat off the bones and get rid of the skin and all that stuff. You could go ahead and remove the skin before you put it in the bag. That would certainly make things easier for you later. I really don't care. I just know that I wanna get these processed and in my freezer. So I'm not too worried about that. And I'll move my garlic out of the way. So I definitely don't wanna get chicken juice in there. But yeah, this was an incredible deal. Um, that's pretty much unheard of these days, as you know, finding something that's reasonably priced. The Astrid, I love you too. Please go. Please go, baby. Jump down. Go, go, go. Good job. She's a love bottle for sure. I'm pretty happy with these. I feel like we're a little uneven in distribution, so what I'm going to do uh, probably find a knife I don't have because I think they're all currently dirty. But uh, what we are going to do is I'm just going to take a, a drumstick here off of this one. And here you go. Here's a little lesson for you. Chicken parting 101. When you're cutting a leg from a drumstick, you find this little groove here in between the two. I hope you can see it okay. And then you cut through until you hit the... Uh, Joint. This is not a very graceful job because, quite frankly, I'm trying not to spray chicken juice everywhere. But anyway, the joint is in there. And once you find it, it comes apart really easy. See? Right there. And then you just split that apart. And your chicken is pretty easy to cut after that. So I wanted to part that one out. Put some in here. Just so we have a little bit more even distribution. I feel like this one I want to do the same thing with. So again, it's easier if you have a cutting board, but since I'm standing here and I frankly don't want to mess with it, 
any more than I have to. Remember how I told you my son's going to be sharpening my knives this weekend? This is why, because they're just not cutting like I want them to. Anyway, you can hear the crack. There's your little knuckle. And I'm actually going to do a video specifically on breaking down a whole chicken, because uh, I think it's something that everybody needs to know. I know for me, I didn't really have a good idea of how to do it. So now I do. All right, and this one goes right in here. So we have these four all ready to go. I'm gonna have my son pause this. I'm gonna wash my hands, I'll be right back. Ben, would you please pause for me? All right, here we go. I'm going to put two teaspoons of garlic in each bag. I don't know if you can see all of them, but sorry if you can't. And then I'm going to do a quarter of a cup of my seasoning blend into each bag. Maybe a little bit more than recipe calls for, but that's okay because we're gonna serve this over rice or noodles. So I really want it to have a strong flavor. This recipe is delicious. Like I said, I apologize. I wish I could give you more of a formal recipe. Uh, all right, and then I'm going to use the, about one and a third cups of this veggie blend. I'm gonna split it up between the four bags. Again, it's more than the original recipe called for, but we really like a lot of veggies in our food. So here's my one, there's about a third. The taste of this is just wonderful. And I will, I will give you some loose measurements in the description. I'm just not gonna give you the exact recipe. All right, so we've got that. Each one of these, I think I forgot to mention, each one of these gets half a stick of butter. See, this recipe was one that I leaned on pretty heavily when I was doing Trim Healthy Mama because it's an S meal. If you do Trim Healthy Mama, you'll know that that's like a higher fat, lower carb meal and have it with some collie rice and it is absolutely insane. I'm actually ready to get back to a more Trim Healthy-ish way of life. My friend Jennifer is actually the one who gave me this recipe. She invited me to a cooking club when they had it way back when, and we've all just gotten super busy, but uh, I'd like to go back to that. So now I'm deviating a little bit from the recipe. You're not supposed to put the lemon juice in, but I am going to. And I also found that I liked to put the lemon pieces in the bag just to give the chicken a more lemony flavor. I actually go ahead and cook it with the lemon halves, and then I just take them out when uh, I'm all done, when it's time to shred the meat. And you know, you can make this easier on yourself. You can go ahead and just buy boneless, skinless chicken thighs. You could use chicken breasts. It won't be as moist if you use breasts, but it will still taste quite good. Whatever works for you, you know? The, the main thing is the flavors in this are just insane. I mean, they're so good. It's amazing, because it's really pretty simple things in here. Some herbs and some lemon juice and such. But the outcome is fantastic. So these will just go, well, three of these are gonna go in the freezer. One of these is gonna go in the slow cooker tomorrow. I told my husband about it and he was pretty excited. He said, when's it gonna be done? So I will definitely keep one of these out. And this will be our meal tomorrow night. And there you go. Just gonna close it up. Squeeze all the air out that I can. And I always double bag my freezer meals because I don't want the smell of bell pepper and onion and stuff. And I just feel like it helps with freezer both. But just like with my other, oops, excuse me. Sorry, I'm gonna move this out of the way. I gotta look at this from your perspective. What are you seeing? So I'm just smushing it all together as best I can. Again, I want to try and get the seasonings onto that chicken so it can just marinate in my freezer. It's gonna be so, so good. I mean, the smell already is incredible. You could have this with potatoes, rice, poly rice, quinoa, anything that you want. It's just absolutely delicious. So there you have it, guys. Lemon drummies for the crock pot. Doesn't that look amazing already? Using 49 cents a pound chicken leg quarters. Watch for those sales. When you find those sales, Make sure that you're you're jumping on it, especially in, in these days. Like you've got to. 
So like when I go to Sam's Club, I'm always looking for the clearance chicken or the clearance beef or pork, and it's just as good. There's no problem with it. It's just, I learned from them that a lot of their food, like they had some butter and stuff that had not been refrigerated properly. And I was like, well, you know, it would be fine because it's butter, but they had to actually like squish it all in a trash compactor. And that's so sad because there was nothing wrong with it, but they can't sell it because of regulations, you know, it makes sense. But I was like, dang, I'll take it. And they couldn't give it to me. But anyway, watch for those bargains. Things like this are ways that you manage to feed your family on the cheap and on the healthy. So thank you for watching. I will see you again tomorrow. I also bought 20 pounds of chicken breasts at $1.69 a pound, which again is unheard of. So I think I'm going to do something with those tomorrow. So stay tuned. I will see you. Please like and subscribe. I'm hoping to hit 500 by the end of the month. Um, so we'll see. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.